in our previous video we saw how to use the uh, the IMU or the inertial measurement unit built into our, our nano 33 BLE for getting the in that case just the, the the acceleration out of the accelerometer and the rotation from the gyroscope uh, there's and those are just that's like raw data and it's like interesting but it is kind of hard to parse um, usually when we want to think about how we can access this th that sort of information just raw values are not so useful uh, so um, you know there's uh, there's a couple of sort of like terms that people use in order to figure out like orientation position degrees of freedom and, and 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 that's and a lot of these are things that you when I say their names you're gonna be like oh that sounds like a plane that's kind of the same thing um, you know there's uh, you know there's this idea of like uh, roll and pitch so roll is like tilting from side to side and pitch is like tilting front to back um, you know there's also uh, you know, there, there, there's also, also like, uh, you know, yaw, which is sort of like a, a up and down sort of motion. Um, and mathematically, these are all kind of like hard things to suss out. But uh, in 2009, there was this guy, Sebastian Madrick, and we're going to go really meta here showing a YouTube video inside of a YouTube video. But he developed an IMU sensor, uh, like mathed it out. And you can see here, so you can get... Uh, position and orientation you can get orientation uh, from two sensors right so from a gyroscope and uh, an accelerometer you can figure out the 3d position of or orientation of uh, something like your microcontroller here uh, and, and and map it out right so uh, it's an open source algorithm pretty rad uh, and what do you know? Lo and behold, somebody has ported this to the microcontroller. Um, just like with uh, the... Now, the, this is a third-party library, and it's developed by uh, actually somebody outside of Arduino. Arduino then kind of like took it over later on. Um, but uh, the, the, the base idea here is that like somebody you know anybody could sort of like contribute or make a library right you don't need to be part of like uh an organization or anything you could just if you get a if you get the urge or the itch to do it you could um so uh so this library here is uh is really useful for um for figuring out that like this kind of information right so uh, like the, the pitch, yaw, you know, rotation. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, download this library and uh, M-A-D-G, there we go. So here we just say Madrick or Madg and we can install it. And this will get the orientation of an object based off of the accelerometer and gyroscope readings. So kind of exactly what we're doing, right? Um, so uh, th this is uh, going to rely on not only the library that we used before, um, but also uh, the, the, some, some, some of the, the magic uh, library, right? So we can see here, um, this is our accelerometer library, gyroscope library, and uh, here's the magic library. So these examples inside of here aren't, they're, they're useful for doing something else with them, and we'll talk about that later in the week. Um, not quite yet. Uh, so what I have is um, an example that I got from uh, from my friend and colleague uh, Tom Igo, who has uh, who who wrote up a sketch for this. So um, here I'm going to walk you through it. And at the top we include the Arduino library that we did before in order to get the information out of our 
uh, out of our sensor, right? Uh, after that, we include the magic library. Then we initialize a version of it. Um, so, and that's so it's basically we're creating an object, right? And then we've got uh, something right here. We need to know this the sensor, the sample rate of the sensors. Now, on this board, that sent that sample rate is fixed at 104 hertz. Uh, if you were to use the compass in here, that's 20 hertz. Um, but for the uh, gyroscope and accelerometer, it's 104 hertz. Here, uh, we start serial communication. We try to start the IMU. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then we stop. Um, and then here, we start the filter to run, and we run it at the same rate that the sensors are reading, right? So this filter is basically going to parse those numbers for us. Uh, here we've got some variables for acceleration and rotation on the x, y, and z axes. Uh, and then these are the uh, values that we're going to store the orientation in from this library and use those to print it out. So roll, pitch, and heading, right? So heading is going to basically be like what's its angle in 360 degrees. So here we check to make sure that it's ready to read. So if the if there's data from the accelerometer and from the gyroscope, if both of those are available, then we read each of those sensors, read the acceleration, read the gyroscope, store them into the respective variables. And then here we update the filter and this computes the orientation for us. Uh, so this does all the math right here. We say filter dot update IMU and then we pass in the XYZ of the gyroscope and the XYZ of the accelerometer. Now that computes everything in the background for us. And then what we can do is we can, we've got these utility functions of get roll, get pitch, get yaw. Uh, and so we can say roll, our variable roll up here. Roll equals filter, get roll, pitch is filter, get pitch, heading, filter, get yaw. And you can, and again, like, uh, Remember, the filter is an instance of this library, right? Uh, and then here we just printed out orientation, heading, pitch, and roll. So this is going to give us something in degrees, and then this will give a, these will give us uh, values that are a little bit more helpful than just those uh, big strings. Uh, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, those big strings of, um, uh, of numbers that we're hard to sort of like parse and, and, and make sense of, right? So uh, so here, uh, I'm uploading this, and once it is uploaded, great, that is done. I'll open up this serial monitor, and it opened in this other window, and here we go. Oh my god, look at that. So uh, here we can see the orientation that's based off of the rotation of the board. So it's at 180 right now. And if I turn it down here, it's going to be 270. And I turn it over here, it's going to be 360 bordering on zero. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Ah, there we go. That's 360. Uh, up here is going to be 90 degrees. Right. So, uh, so we can see this is how this all sort of like works, right? Now we can get absolute position. And then these other values here, the uh, this is going to be our uh, you know our, our pitch and our roll, right? So um, remember uh, that when we're talking about this stuff, that uh, you know pitch is front and back. So that middle number there, you can see as I move this forward, it gets greater or less, and then if I Pull it back like this, it gets greater, right? And then roll is side to side. Right? So now we can see it takes a moment to settle, but it works, right? So roll back to zero. Pitch. It's up to like 50-ish when I get all the way up vertical or did previously there we go 
we'll let it all settle back down. So it takes a moment to settle and it's not 100% perfect, but it's really close, right? You can also see it, particularly that orientation is pretty stable. So um, this is uh, a, a library that will help you sort of determine uh, the absolute orientation of a microcontroller that has these sorts of sensors inside of it. Um, and can be a lot of fun, especially when we, you start to use this for, uh, you know, for when communicating with a computer, but you could use this now for, you know, turn it one way, you could turn on, you could, you, you could control a servo motor this way, right? Just by doing this. Um, so, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with this that could be really interesting from an interface standpoint. Uh, so yeah, experiment with it, try it, have fun, enjoy. It's, uh, it's good stuff.